Hello everyone, this is Asika from the itprojects.com. In this tutorial, we will make a smart home controller using Duny HMI display in Arduino. Here, we will use the BME280 sensor to monitor room temperature, room humidity, pressure, approx altitude, and dew point. Similarly, we will use four channel related to control AC home appliances like lights, fan, AC, TV, etc. I am using 7 inch Duny HMI DMG8040C070 underscore 04WTC display to monitor sensor data and control AC home appliances. If you are new to this HMI display, then there is a detailed getting started tutorial on the display. Today's tutorial will be a bit longer because we will go through all the steps installing required software and tools, designing the GUI of display, upload project files to the display. Interface sensor and relays to the Arduino. Make a serial communication between Arduino and Duny HMI display. Monitor sensor data and control AC home appliances from this touch display. 7 inch Duny HMI display can be easily used with 5 volt compatible microcontroller boards like Arduino Uno, Arduino Nano, Arduino Mega, PIC microcontrollers, 8051 family of microcontrollers, etc. Now, let us visit the official website of doingglobal.com. You can see this twin company making a wide range of high quality touch screens for Android LCD, HDMI LCD, and Linux LCD displays. Under the download section, go to Tools and download Diga software and EXR21X driver. This driver is for HDL662V board. So, download and extract both files. We don't need to install this Diga software. Under this Diga folder, you can see some executable files which includes tools like the iShell tool, font generating tool, image resizing tool, etc. inside this Digger software. Inside the XR21X folder, there are driver files. You need to install the driver on your PC to establish the communication between esdl 662 v and your PC. Double click the executable file to launch the driver installer. Now, click on install to install the driver on your Windows PC. After installing the Digger software and driver, Open the digos.exe file. By default, the software language is Chinese, so go to settings and change it to English. Now, click on new to create a new project. Select the screen resolution of 800 by 480 pixels. Choose your project folder path. In this demonstration, I am creating a new folder, doing a smart home and selecting the same folder path. Now, you need to prepare images for your project. Here, I have already created image and icons for my project. You can name your images and icon folder as 32, 42, 46, 56, 58, 62, 64, etc. Because we need to create an ICL file of these pictures later and memory is divided into different sections. In this tutorial, under 32 folder, I have placed images of my UI. Make sure that your images are in .bmp format. Under the 46 folder, I have placed icon files. Similarly, on the 62 folder, I have placed number icon files. Now, go back to Digos and click on the welcome screen. Click on the picture conversion tool. On the top right corner, set your screen resolution to 800 by 480 pixels. Now, add your project images from the 32 folder. All the images inside that folder will be resized to 800 by 480 pixels. Here, I have a total of 7 images. Click on the image conversion option from the menu. Then, select the image folder inside the doing smart home folder. So, we have now converted all the images. Now, go to your project screen and add all those converted 7 images. We should create ICL files of our images. So, for that, go to the setting menu and click on Diggers. A new window will pop up. Now, click on ICL tool. Here, you need to select the images and generate an ICL file. Save this file with the name 32 under the doing underscore set folder. Similarly, choose the buttons icon and generate ICL file as 46 point ICL under the same doing underscore SCT folder. Finally, select the number icons and generate the 62 point ICL file under the same doing underscore SCT folder. We have successfully generated 3 ICL files. Now, it's time to add functions to our UI. Here, select the 00.bmp image then click on the touch control menu. So, let's create a basic touch module for our display. Click on the basic touch module then select the widget area where you want to apply this module. You can drag, drop and resize the module as your requirement. Now, on the left side, select the images for page switching. 
When you click on that task module, it will switch to a new assigned page. Now, right click on the newly created module and paste it 5 times. Drag one model for the humidity widget and set the page switching to humidity image. Similarly, do the same for pressure, altitude, dew point and control settings. But don't forget to change the page switching on every module. So we have created a basic touch model for our first image. Now go to the icon display menu and create an artistic variable. Select the area and here you need to assign a VP address for this module. I am choosing 1000 as a VP address and selecting your icon file as 62. Now select the star icon as 0. Under the variable byte, choose integer 2 byte and integer digits as 2. Set the initial value as 0. You can set the initial number as the highest value of your sensor data and resize the artistic variable module according to your need and requirement. Now copy this module and place them on humidity, pressure, altitude and dew point. But don't forget to change their VP address to 2000, 3000, 4000 and 5000 respectively. You can also change the variable type if required. Again copy the same module and paste it onto the 01.bmp image, this one is for temperature. Resize and adjust the correct position as you did before. Keep the BP address 1000 for temperature, 2000 for humidity, 2000 for pressure, 4000 for altitude, and 5000 for dew point. Copy this module and paste it on other images 02, 03, 04, 05, but change the VP address as you did here. Your BP address should match the VP address mentioned on the first page of our project. Again, get back to the 01.bmp image and create a basic touch model for the home button. Select your page switching to the home page. Now again, copy this model and paste it on every home button. You can already size the model as per your requirements. Now, let's design our toggle switch buttons for controlling appliances like lights, AC, fan, TV, etc. Go to icon display menu and choose var icon display. Select the area where you want to display your icon. As always, resize the model as your needs. Now, choose your VP address as 5100. Choose the icon iShell file as 46 point iShell. When the value is minimum, select the off icon that is 0 icon. Similarly, set the maximum value as 1 and select the OEN icon that is 1 icon. Keep the display mode as transparent. Now, from the task control menu, select the increment adjustment module. You can resize the module. Then, select data or to uploading. Click on the No button effect. Give the same VP address as 5100. Click on Low White. Select the Adjust method as plus plus and Over Limit operation as a cycle. Similarly, adjust step length to 1 and Upper Limit to 1. Finally, set the Dodge effect as a disposable setting. Now, copy the VAR icon module and paste them onto the Fan, AC and TV controller buttons. But, change the VP address. For light, the VP address is 5100, for fan 5200, for AC 5300, and for TV 5400 respectively. Also, copy and paste the incrementable adjustment model and save your VP address accordingly. Finally, we have completed adding modules to our UI. Now, click on save and generate to generate 13 touch file, 14 so file and 22 configuration bin files. Now you can preview the UI of our project from the display menu. Click on preview from the first page and you can see our newly created UI in a pop-up window. Here we have not created a font file so let's do it quickly. Go to the welcome page and click on word bank generating. Here choose your font and adjust your settings. Then click on create to create your font file. The font file will be created on the Diego software folder by the name 0 underscore doing underscore ASC dot yadjetk. Copy it and paste it onto the doing underscore set folder. Now you can preview our new smart home UI. Here we cannot see the artistic variable and button var icon module. They will be visible when you upload the project to our display. So let's quickly do that. If you don't know how to upload the project to this TOS display, then follow my previous getting started tutorial, in which I have explained to process to upload the project to your display using SD card and T5L download tool. This is the result of our newly created UI after uploading the project file to the display. After done with the GUI design, you have to connect the BME280 sensor and relay module to the Arduino board. You can use any 5V compatible Arduino board. Here, I am using an Arduino Nano board. 
So, first to interface the sensor and relays and make a serial communication to the display using RX2 and TX2 pins on the display module. Note, if you are providing power from two different power sources to Arduino and the LCD separately, then you need to connect the DND of display to the GND pin of Arduino. Connect the sensor, relay module and do in HMI display to the Arduino Nano as shown in the image. You can assemble the circuit on a grid board as well but I prefer custom PCB to avoid messy wiring. I prefer to order a custom PCB from PCBWay.com. PCBWay.com is a one-step solution for all your PCB needs like PCB prototyping, SMD stencils, PCB assembly, etc. Currently, they are offering 10 pieces of 2-layer PCB at just $5. They also have a free sign-up bonus for new users. So, get your first prototype PCB ready from PCBWay.com. The link is in the description below. Just click on the PCB Instant Queue tab, then click on Quick Order PCB. Now, upload your cardboard file. Select your preferred shipping method and place your order. As in this project, we are sending as well as receiving data. For sending purpose, I am sending a frame with a BP address of their sensor and value. And their value is updating on display. Similarly, for receiving, I am checking the serial receive frame for a particular button with your BP address using a switch case as you can see in the program code. In this program code, first we include the library header file for the BME 2 sensor. We define the four relay pins assigned to the light, fan, AC and TV. Then we define the VP address of BME 2 sensor data like temperature, humidity, pressure, approx altitude and dew point. This is the syntax of the frame which I am sending to the HDMI display to display the sensor data. In the setup part, we initialize the serial monitor and my serial for serial communication. Then we initialize the BME280 sensor and relay output pins. In the loop, we run two custom functions to read values from the display and send sensor data to the display. In void data display to Arduino, we are receiving data from HDMI display at the time of pressing any button. And this is the BP address for that particular widget. We have here four switches, cases for light, fan, AC and TV. Now, here we get the sensor parameters like temperature, humidity, pressure, altitude and dew point. But the dew point is calculated using some mathematical expression. So now, these data are printed on a serial monitor. Using this syntax, we also send sensor data to do in HMI display through serial communication. Now select your board and correct COM port to upload this program into your Arduino. Click on the upload button to upload the code. After a successful upload of the program upon the serial monitor at the board rate of 115200 to see the real time sensor data. Now you can also see the real time sensor data on a doing HMI display. You can click on any widget to monitor the single data on a full 7 inch display. Press the home button to get back to the main dashboard. By clicking on the control widget, you can get to the control center to control your appliances connected through this 4 channel relay. So, we have successfully made this smart home controller project when doing HMI display and Arduino. The UI looks pretty good in this display. I hope this tutorial was helpful to you. If it really helped you, then don't hesitate to like and subscribe to this channel. It's me Asika signing off for today. Catch you soon. Bye bye.